hello everyone welcome back to my channel it is me my isha also known as chocolate covered fat girl in these social media streets and today it's another episode of the weekly wash so the feature product in this weekly's wash is going to be the baobab hair therapy strengthening conditioner with baobab protein and sea kelp by S. Beauty. This is a deep conditioner that has protein in it. The protein that it has in it is baobab protein. And I've tried this deep conditioner before. It's very, very, very liquidy. Very liquidy. But I liked it. It left my head feeling moisturized. To me, it's a. a, a protein and moisture balanced conditioner so I don't think that you would get a strong dose of protein from using this conditioner but I have used it before and I like it so everything that I'm going to be using in this wash day process is going to be starting off with my co-wash which I use as my pre-shampoo and I am going to be using the as I am coconut co-wash from their classic line as my co-wash to detangle my head before I wash it. My shampoo is going to be the Classy and Whipped Shampoo. I've shown this on my channel a couple of times already. I'm trying to use this up this year, which it doesn't look like I'm going to be successful because I barely made a dent in this whipped shampoo. It's 8 ounces and when you buy this shampoo, it's probably the only shampoo you're going to use for 5 years straight. I'm not even joking. No cap. So after I shampoo my hair, I am going to go in with my neem treatment. And I already got that all mixed up. It is looking nutritious and delicious, hunty. So I'm going to go in with my neem treatment on my head and I'm going to leave this on my head for a couple of hours before I rinse it out. And it stinks like it always does. If you've ever tried neem powder uh, on your head, you know that the smell is not the best. It smells just like a laxative. But I'm going to go in with this on my head. Your girl is trying everything to grow this head out. And so far, I'm loving my Ayurvedic treatments, even though they are messy. After that, I'm going in with the S. Beauty Deep Conditioner. And the leave-in that I'm going to be using just to try to use it up is going to be the Curly Bell Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner. I'm almost finished with this, thank God. And I can move on to something else. Hopefully something that is more moisturizing than this. So let's go ahead and get this wash day started.
Watch Day has finally ended and it was long. It was long, okay? I'm gonna try not to make this video too long, but you saw everything that I do every single wash day. You saw me pre poo my hair. You saw me shampoo my hair. You saw me do my Ayurvedic treatment. And then I went in with the S. Beauty deep conditioner. After that, I, I left it on for. Uh, an hour then I went in with the curly bell leave-in conditioner so about this s dot beauty uh, deep conditioner I really like it it retails for about $28 yes I said it $28 I got it on sale at Hattache so I didn't buy it from the site I got it on clearance at Hattache so I didn't pay $28 for it but it's called the Baobab Hair Therapy Strengthening Conditioner with Baobab Protein and Sea Kelp Extract. This conditioner is very, very watery. Very watery. And I didn't think it would work for my hair, but it is an amazing deep conditioner. Amazing. It comes in 12.5 ounces. So that might explain some of the price. It does have organic ingredients in it. Some of the ingredients include distilled water, 
BTMS, Argon Oil, Sea Kelp Extract, Cetyl Alcohol, uh, Sapphire Sea Oil, Hy Hydrolyzed Baobab Protein, Sunflower Sea Oil, Sodium Lactate, Pro Vitamin B5, and some other ingredients. But I do recommend this deep conditioner. I don't know if I would purchase it again because I have so many other deep conditioners in my stash. And every deep conditioner I use, I do compare it to the Unicurl deep conditioner, which is a holy grail product for me. So I feel like if it doesn't compare to the Unicurl or if it's not as good as the Unicurl, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But that doesn't mean this isn't a great deep conditioner. I would recommend trying it out if you're interested. And like I said, it is very watery. It does have some slip, but not a lot of slip. So if you deep condition, if you detangle with your deep conditioner, this may not be for you. But if your head does like protein, this is a really good uh, moisture protein balance conditioner. And that is it for this weekly wash. I am exhausted. I'm about to take my ass to bed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.